Ladies and gentlemen, today is Tuesday, July 22nd, 2014. And this is the Can Kill Show, episode 186. I'm your host, Keenan Lafferty, and today is Tutorial Tuesday, where we learn to be better artists. And today we're going to be focusing on going in depth with arms, diving into arms, specifically forearms, and all the weird little muscles that spring and wrap around from your elbow and go to your wrist. Got some good tips on that. But before we get into that, we need to take a quick stroll down the lovely lane because you guys are awesome and it has been basically forever since I've done one of these. So we got a lot of art to look at. In fact, we're gonna have to scroll a little bit faster than that. <laughs> but I do apologize for not being here for a little while, but I'm happy to be back for the time being, doing a little bit more tutorials. And I wanna say thank you to everyone who has been submitting your stuff to the Facebook. As always, if you'd like to join us and submit your art, I do look at everything on here, not just like scrolling like this. I do take my time to like every single one. If you'd like to join us, just click the link down below in the YouTube description and come get some cookies. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial, shall we? Let's go ahead and close that down. And normally I do not like to show my references for fear of copyright infringement, but lately I've decided to stop giving a crap. So today I'm going to be basically using these awesome 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 references and feel free to like if you're watching this on YouTube you can go ahead and like screen cap this print screen it because these are probably some of the best shots of like forearms especially like this right here uh, of like showing how the muscles come off of the bicep and just go down to the wrist and all that stuff really really like these shots a lot so today what we're gonna be talking about specifically is forearms and we're going to be doing a little bit like going up the back and how the arm actually connects to the chest as well as the back. And uh, I'm going to deem it again another, uh, you know, uh, uh, what is the word? <laughs> uh, study session, joint study session. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get fired off. So the first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and grab our good old fashioned new layer. And one of the things that I want to talk about right away is really easy ways to remember how to draw your arm muscles, okay? Now, one of the one of the most important things I'm going to talk about right now is basically this, the relationship between the shoulder and the bicep and just how everything connects. Like really, really easy ways to remember all that, okay? So the way that I like to think about it is first we're going to draw the shoulder, right? So say this is our dude right here, right? Here's his face and coming down to his shoulder, okay? So one thing, um, a mistake that I always used to make prior to this, uh, I would, I don't know if you want to call it a rookie mistake, is that I would always make the shoulder muscle, I would make it go down straight to the side. So imagine like, okay, so like here's his bicep and there's the, you know, tricep and all that stuff and then forearm and, and fist, right? Now what you want to think about is these muscles coming through here they're actually going to be wrapping around towards the front. They're going to be coming more towards the front of the body as opposed to straight down the side. Okay, so here's what I want you to think about. The muscles are starting here and they're going to wrap around kind of right to this little sweet spot right here. They're going to wrap like that. Okay, I usually like to think about three major shapes that go into the shoulder muscle and they're all going to meet right at this sweet spot right there and then everything else is going to branch off of that. Okay, so that's lesson one. That's lesson one. Don't let your shoulder go too far to the side. It doesn't just lay perfectly uh, to the side. Okay, so we've got our shoulder, right? And we are going to curve the muscles inwards like this, right? And then from there, you wanna think about it basically like a piece of armor, like a plate that sits over top of your bicep. So the bicep is naturally going to come right out of there. And then the tricep, I usually like to do this little thing where I draw it out and then go in, you know? Because right here, actually, what's happening is there's there's just a little muscle that sits on top of your tricep, right? And then the rest of it, uh, this right here is actually a big tendon that wraps around your entire elbow, okay? So you're going to want to make sure you get yourself some of that, okay? And usually what I like to do is I really like to think about it in terms of there's like three separate um, entities on the shoulder muscle. And there's three little things that will come down your arm as well, right? There's like three muscles. So, and again, I don't know exactly how perfectly anatomically correct this is, but it works for me. So you guys go ahead and take it for what it's worth. 
Um, in fact, I'm gonna make this guy a little bit bigger. I feel like my tutorial skills are a little bit rusty. But that's okay, because we're back. We're back. So anyway, um, so you're gonna wanna think about this muscle right here, and then one of the most important things that you can do is, okay, so you draw the forearm coming down, right? One of the most important muscles you wanna remember is this one right here. See how it branches right out of the center of the bicep and the tricep? It's almost like this little thing that comes down like that, and then it gets like really big. And this is called the carpi muscle. The carpi, like that, right? And that wraps around like that. And then you're gonna have all these other little muscles that are gonna go through there, and I hate those muscles. But we like to just condense those all into one thing and just call it something, I don't know. But carpi is the main muscle that you always want to remember. So just pay attention to like, like one of the things that I'm always thinking about that's really cool about arms, right? And legs, for those of you who've seen my tutorials on legs, is that the arm doesn't exist in terms of like, hey, here's the shoulder, here's the bicep and tricep, and here's the forearm, right? It's not a straight line. There's curvatures that are happening throughout this entire arm that make it look really cool. And if you can capture those, I'm telling you guys, it'll make your arms look really, really cool. So again, talking about curvatures, notice how this bicep comes down like this, right? It's almost like pointing this way. And then the tricep comes up like this and it's almost pointing the other way. So it's got this interesting, like cool, like, I don't know, opposition, like balancing effect going on there. And the same thing happens with your legs. For those of you who have seen my tutorials on legs, they're sort of like legs aren't just straight down. They have like this S curve that goes right through them all the way down to the foot. And that's what creates like a cool sense of balance, right? That, that's a foot, okay? But there's like a, a subtle S curve that goes through legs and that's what makes them look really cool and like, I don't know, organic and they just have like weight to them. And the same thing goes for arms. So I really want you guys to practice that. Okay, so just review of what we've learned on this one. We are going to draw our shoulder muscles. They are going to all curve right to this little sweet spot right here. It lays over top of our bicep. The bicep comes down like this. This is overlapping. The carpi overlaps the bicep. You can even take a look at your own, ar your own arm and see a little bit of how that works, okay? So the, car the carpi overlaps there. The tricep is just this little muscle. It's existing right there. And then this is a giant tendon. All of this area right back here. This is all just a big tendon that goes over your, your elbow. And then from beneath the carpi, all these other little muscles start coming into play. Okay? So that's lesson one. So now I wanna to talk to you guys about a little cool trick that can help you remember how your muscles are supposed to basically line up. And what you'll notice well, rather, I'll just I'll get into the next part. Okay, so you'll notice how one of the biggest challenges that I always have with forearms is remembering that all of the muscles are supposed to like wrap around the arm. But I'm like, okay, well, what happens on the other side? This, this has like always been a problem for me. Like, okay, I, I'm pretty good at what happens here, but what about when someone's doing this? How do the muscles work like that? So what we're gonna do is again, joint study session. I don't know exactly how perfect this is gonna be. Oh, we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. So let's go ahead and get started with that because I think I have a good, a good hunch as to what that is going to be. All right, so um, let's see here. Um, I do have another, I do have another reference that I really liked. I actually didn't pull it up. I think it's this one here. Yes, I forget who did this one, but it is amazing, it is amazing. And this is what I'm talking about right here. See this, this is where I have trouble with. But the interesting thing that I found out is that, and feel free, again, screen cap this, screen screen cap all of this if you want. But uh, we're gonna be focusing right here because this is what I'm talking about. It's the other side of the arm. And we're gonna go ahead and try to simplify that. So I'm gonna have that up on the other screen and we're going to explore. And we're gonna test out a little theory that I have. A little theory that I have regarding how the inside of the arm is much like the outside, okay? So first of all, what I'm talking about really is that, okay, so we're starting with our shoulder, right? Here's our shoulder, here's the neck, and, and here's the guy's head, okay? 
Guy's head right there. Shoulder. And then there's the chest. Okay. So we've got our bicep, which is going to come out from beneath the shoulder once again. And then you're going to have all these little connecty things, right? And then you're going to have tricep, right? Man, this guy's really buff. I'm going to have to tone him down a little bit. But then, just like on the other side, there's this middle muscle that goes right through here. Okay? There's a little muscle that goes right through here. And then it comes out on the other side. Okay? So this is almost kind of like the carpi of the inside. Okay? So, okay, and then we're going to have this come up like that. In fact, I'm just going to draw this in really quick, and then we'll figure it out from there. Okay. 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 So... Okay, so we've got our, basically this is sort of like a carpy muscle. And then what you're gonna have is this thing right here. This is basically like your other, the other side of your forearm muscles. And what's really interesting about this is this is where my theory comes into play, okay? Because when you're flexing like this, right? Your thumb is going to be over here, right? Your thumb is gonna be right there. And something that I, I noticed just recently about the forearm muscles is that wherever the thumb is, right, whichever side the thumb is on, right, so it's behind him, it's on the back side of his head, the forearm muscles are going to naturally begin to wrap towards that direction. They're always going to wrap towards the thumb, okay? Because sometimes I, was, I, was con I would get confused and I'd be like, okay, are they supposed to like wrap that way? And you see how that looks really weird? Even if you don't know anything about anatomy, it looks kind of weird. So what you want to consider is, again, there's muscles that are going to, this big muscle is going to wrap around towards the thumb. And then you'll notice you got this bone that sticks out right here too. And then there's going to be muscles that slowly kind of cascade to that bone. Okay, And that bone, curiously enough, actually goes all the way back to your elbow. So you could actually theoretically draw that bone all the way back to your elbow, like that. And the muscles sit on top of there like that, okay? So, okay, so that's the best that I can do, okay? <laughs> Again, this is really the nebulous area. I don't know what the heck is happening actually within there. I don't know if this is all like one muscle, like it's kind of like the carpi, how it kind of comes out like that and then goes up. I don't know if it's really, if it works like that. But at any rate, I think it might actually be more like this. I think it's really mostly like this, where this muscle is actually connecting, right, to this bone, and then this muscle is actually connecting to that bone as well. I'm pretty sure that's the way it's going. If anybody is an anatomy aficionado out there, then just let me know. But it works for me, again. And the reason why it works is because that same principle applies, okay? The one, two, three principle. See, from this end, you can only see the first two sides of the muscles of the arm, right? Or of the shoulder. So you got one, two, right? But then, just like on the other side, we're gonna have the bicep that comes out like that, okay? Little muscle on the inside, boom, like that. And then you got tricep, comes out like that, remember? Little muscle. And then you got this tendon that comes right out there. Got the bone that goes up to your wrist. And remember, all of your muscles will wrap no matter which side of your arm they're on, they all like to wrap towards your thumb. Towards the end of the thumb. So they're always gonna go that way. So I hope that helps you guys out. That's my theory for forearms and it really helps to just remember, especially just like separating. Really I think the big thing is like separating these muscles, like the, the one, two, and three, and then the one, two, three. That really, really helps me out a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and move those things away. And we now have to talk about, oh, I just drew that all in one layer. Oh, well, whatever. Good enough, good enough. Now what I want to tackle is the infamous back end, right? The back elbow shot and basically connecting it to the back. And I think we'll call it good for today because that's probably gonna take us a little bit of time. I've done plenty of tutorials on like the the front, but basically it just has to do with like, if I were to sum it up really quickly, I, I could sum it up really quick here. Basically one of the things that I like to think about when the shoulder connects to the chest 
is you can see the flow that happens right here. See, there's the one, there's the two, the three is on the other side, right? But then, check it out. It's almost like this cascading muscle keeps, it's like a fan, it just keeps going till it creates the chest muscle. So that's basically how it goes from the chest to the shoulder. I always like to remember that. And it looks really, really cool when you draw it. Like, I like to exaggerate it even more. I don't know, it's just, I really like to uh, pronounce that fanning uh, of the muscles. So, but let's focus on the back today because I feel like that's something that I haven't done enough and it's again, uh, something that I struggle with. So, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. But first we're gonna start with this. We're gonna start with drawing the forearm from that angle, okay? So, um, let's see, let's go ahead and move our other guys off to the side. Move our other guys off to this side here. I like it, I like it. And we're going to take all the principles that we've learned today, and we're gonna put them all to use right now, okay? So we're gonna be using this as our reference. This is actually like a predator sculpture. It's really, really awesome. So we're gonna start with this, okay? So the back muscle. The, or the, rather the shoulder muscle connecting to the back. So we've got, this is number three, right? Because it's in the very back. You got two, and now one is on the other side, okay? So from that, just like the bicep, except now we're behind it, the tricep is going to emerge, emerge. And then you'll notice, see this little, see that shape right there? That is connecting right to, that's the tendon I'm talking about. There's no muscle right there. That is all a tendon that goes right down to your elbow, okay? So it really helps to remember that, okay? So we come down, right on down to the elbow. And then, right, when we remember this muscle, remember that one right there? That muscle is what is actually appearing right there, that little bump, a little tiny bump. I think I'm just going to draw in pink. I think I'm just going to draw in pink. Let's just do that. That little bump right there is that muscle right there, okay? So let's go ahead and add that in, okay? Then from there, we notice this bump. What is that? That is the carpi. That's the carpi coming off and now rotating around the arm. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw that. And I need to erase this so I can still see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so we got that, and then we got these curious little things that kind of come off like that, right? Curious little things here. And then we kind of wrap around like that. But notice how, remember this elbow bone? Comes right up to right there. That bump on your wrist, I hope you guys can actually see me. That bump on your wrist is where that bone goes. Bump goes right there. Then you can draw your hand. Okay, so here's your carpi. I don't know what the heck this is, but that's, I guess you could call that under carpi. I'll call it under carpi. <laughs> then you got your elbow bone, right? And that goes up. This is the tendon. And then you have your tricep. And you probably see a little bit of the bicep, right? Just barely peeking out over the edge there. And then that cascades lovely, very, very nicely into your shoulder muscles, okay? So, um, yeah, I like that. And remember, from the carpi, you got all these little other muscles that'll come through there, but we don't worry about those because you rarely ever see them. Like, unless you literally like tear someone's skin off, you're not gonna see those muscles. They just don't show through the skin. Biggest one you're going to be worried about is right there, the carpi, under carpi, and then um, your other little muscles that kind of come through here. But remember, these muscles under here, those are wrapping towards the thumb. So they're basically going under. If you were to look through it like an x-ray, those are wrapping and they're going right there. Okay? Same thing here. The carpi wraps around and goes right over here. Wraps around. Wraps around to the thumb to the thumb, in fact, just to make things really clear. To the thumb. All right, that's how you can remember. There you go. 
forearm muscles always wrapped to the thumb. And the carpi emerges from between the tricep and the bicep. But now let's get into something that is a little bit, very much, very much unknown territory for me. And that is going to be how the heck the arm connects to the back, okay? So let's go ahead and move this baby over and let's get started on that. Because I do have some theories. I have some theories that can help you, hopefully, with connecting arms to backs. And one of those theories is mostly seen right here, okay? Remember how I talked about this fanning technique here? The same thing is almost happening in the back, okay? If I was to draw over this, we've got our you know, muscle right here. Then the fanning is a little bit different here because then you have, you have your trapezius, right? Which goes up your back. I always like to take note of this little diamond shape that happens. That's always really cool to um, capture, even when flesh is over top of it. See, it looks like this right there. See that right there? That's the diamond shape that's actually happening within those muscles. And of course, predator is just jacked, so it's very well pronounced. That's always fun to take note of, that diamond shape. But then, something that they're doing here that I really like that helps kind of uh, accentuate it a little bit more is they've created a line here and here and here, okay? So if I were to add those lines onto this back, it would be there and then there and then there, okay? So there's a little bit of cascading happening here, a little bit of like a fan type of motion happening there. So you got something like that, okay? Then underneath here, these are like little connecty things. I don't know. There are other little connecty muscles. But that's basically being portrayed here and here. I don't know exactly how those work, but the most important thing that you remember is that they exist underneath these two muscles, right? Underneath, like suit of armor, right? You got your shoulder pad here, and you got your, I don't know what the heck this thing is called, the neck guard. I drew a character with a neck guard recently. So you want to think about those two pieces of armor laying over top, and then these muscles lay underneath. They are beneath those pieces of armor. And then again, what comes over top of that is your latissimus, latissimus dorsi, which lays again over top. Okay? So um, if I were to clear that up, let's go like the Let's go blue. So these muscles under here, these are the only ones that are existing beneath everything else. Everything else goes over top of it. Okay? Hope that makes sense. I really hope that makes sense. That's the best way for me to remember. But the biggest thing, now we're going to translate that over to drawing our own back. Okay? So let's basically take what we did there and let's continue. Okay? So we know that we have you know, the other piece of armor that lays over top, which creates our neck, right? It's gonna kind of come up like that, right? This shape right there goes down to the back, right? And then you're gonna have this baby right there. We're no, we know the diamond shape is going to be forming off of that. Okay, and then underneath, right? These are your little connector muscles. Your lats are gonna be going like that. This back is looking really weird. Normally I don't draw backs like this. <laughs> this looks really funny. But anyway, let's just roll with it. Let's just roll with it. Okay? We're testing theories. Okay, so other side. There you go. There you go. Over top. Here's your other shoulder plate. Right? Put the spikes on it if it helps. Then underneath that, underneath that, you got your little connecty thingies. Other lats. And then this shape that's happening right here is actually the shape of your rib cage. Th that right there is actually the back side of your rib cage creating that shape there. So you can choose to accentuate that as well. It almost like makes this X. I think that's where the term barn door back comes from because like barn doors have X's on them. I'm thinking that's what it's from, but I, I, don't, know. I don't know. It makes sense to me. So anyway, all right, so with that, again, Hope that helps you out. So there's a little bit of a cascade. It's almost like a backwards cascade. Because with the, actually no, it's about the same. It, it is about the same. Yeah. So 
You got your arm muscles here. What, what color do I have to use? Give me a color. Give me a color I can see. That didn't help. All right, we'll just do white. Okay, so you got one, boom, 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 right? Cascading like that. Then here, you've got, you've got muscle, right? And then you got from here, cascades. Boom, 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 boom. Diamond shape. There you go. Make it happy. All right. So, I hope that helps you out, guys. I hope the, this has actually been some good education for me as well, like learning about how all these muscles connect together. Just It all comes down to relationships, and I really, really like to simplify things so that way I can remember them off the top of my head. So I hope that what I have talked about today has helped you guys. So for those of you watching on YouTube, please thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. My name is Ken Lafferty. It's great to see you guys again. I'll see you soon. Till then, take care.